I guess in 80-81 I received a grant from the NEA. My proposal was to create an ensemble that would bring the different musical camps that are located in Los Angeles together and do uh, uh, write some music for that. So I, I actually got a composition grant and, and another grant to actually do the performance. happens in the in the group is you get your part you also get a flow chart the flow chart shows you like what's going to happen in between the tunes and such so you can organize the or what may happen in between tunes and so you can organize your music accordingly to, to these things and also for the soloist he can see like where he needs to go to to set up these transitions so <clears throat> in the the music will look like a written part, and then the flowchart is on the other side, saying like, "Okay, you know, you know, uh, like the beginning of the concert, the 2006 concert is uh, with the two guitars is Jeremy Drake and Nels Klein doing electronic sounds with with uh, Wayne playing uh, synthesizer, and then there's a brass opening. So for everybody else, that's pretty much tacit. Now." That looks like normal music, except that what may ha what happened in the concert was like I felt it was a bit empty, so I created like spontaneous things to put behind the soloists. Like I might do like like this, which might mean like pointillistic sounds, or I might do this like that, which means like you know like giving some you know, things like that. constantly a work in progress, you know, composing for the people in the group and I reformed it in, uh, in 84 and uh, since then I haven't looked back. I've done usually a concert every year, but I have done concerts of large ensemble music like in Germany, Canada, uh, I'm doing one in Ann Arbor, Michigan in uh, October. Uh, so it's constant, you know, I just, uh, last year I did one in St. Louis with uh, some of the members of the uh, St. Louis Symphony and such. So, so there's a, a constant, I'm constantly working on the, on the music and it's constantly evolving. You 
can't get, become entranced by the soloist playing. You have to always be present in the music. And that's a, another thing that I find that, that a lot of the players find very exciting about playing in the band. The audience has input into actually what happens because of their um, vibration, because it's a communication cycle where the band is playing, they're listening, and then they're sending back their attention to us, and basically they can have an influence on how the music goes by their presence in the music. The networking aspect of the, of the group is, is quite good and I think it's helped the scene here in Los Angeles actually cross-pollinate because of the original ideas about why I started the group was like with these different elements coming from different parts of, the, of Los Angeles. So in, in some ways it's kind of a unifying factor and it also unifies a lot of the audience because people do come from all over to see it. I mean uh, that particular show at Red Cat in 2006 was sold out for two nights. But most of the people have found the music like very exciting, uh, not only because of the written music, which is very nice to hear, but also because of the, and mostly they react to the colors in the band and the, and the soloists in the band. They like the fact that these people are um, extremely creative players. I mean, they're some of the best musicians, you know, in the world. And I know everyone says, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. Everyone says that about their groups, but basically, I mean, these are uh, these are quite virtuosic players who are very um, versatile. I like expanding into the more classical areas because of the um, the, uh, the sounds and, and colors you can get from double reeds and strings and and you know muted brass and, and, and et cetera et cetera. That you know I, I think it's always been an interest of mine and I think it's it relates back to my beginnings as a as a painter.
that I've been using are building blocks from when I was a painter, rhythm, shape, color, and form, which are the, they're like the amino blocks in life itself, you know. Then they work in everything. They work in architecture, they work in painting, they work everywhere. When I came up, I had a certain extension of, of color that I wanted to do, and that's what I'm pursuing the way I, the way that I hear it. I wanted to find the bridges between visual and sound. I don't want to find the things that make them separate. I want to find the things that make them go together. 